So, welcome back to our final podcast in this series of uh, coffees that we've uh, sent off on this roasting voyage uh, to Wakefields. And today, would you believe it, they are plowing their way through some ridiculous number of coffees from all over the country. And uh, we are going to now expose the coffees that we chose and we thought were appropriate for the competition. So, without further ado, ta-ta! Ed, please introduce the coffees we decided to send. It was a tough selection process, David, as you know. We've spent the last three, four weeks going through all our coffees and just trying to find out which one's the best ones. I think we've come up with a couple of really good examples of what we do. Um, so firstly, we've sent off two examples. We're allowed to send two, so we took full advantage of that. So firstly, we've gone for the Monsoon de Malabar. So it's an aged coffee, light roasted, really nutty, spicy flavours, gorgeous one. And we've also gone for the honey processed Myanmar Shui Wan Yang. Um, again, sweet flavours, just phenomenal coffees, really tasty. Let me just pour the Myanmar out quickly. Yeah, just to... So what we're trying to challenge Wakefields, really, um, I hope they're listening into this podcast religiously and carefully, is we're giving them two completely different uh, types of coffees. Um, one we almost describe as an heirloom or old-fashioned coffee, and that one's the Monsoon Malabar, uh, versus the very new, this honey process, which probably a decade ago no one was talking about um, as, a, as a whole different way of, doing, of tasting coffees. And I have to say, we've got them both here on the table in front of us, and just even a sniff them is so contrasty. It'd be really interesting to see what the guys at Wakefields pick up on. So what, what's your thoughts, Ed? Let's, let's get stuck in, I guess. Well, I've, I've just smelt that Myanmar and just blows me away every time. I love that coffee. That's fantastic. I remember when we went over it, uh, I think it was in the second week, uh, I said it didn't have a patch on the El Salvador honey process that we have, but um, or had. Um, but that is, it's really grown on me. It's really grown on me. Do you know, one of the things I was a bit nervous about is um, just tasting that on Myanmar now. It's just got this delicate flavour to it. It's just a lovely, delicate coffee. Um, it's, it's, I hate to say, I mean, I shouldn't say this, but, or immodestly we should say this, I should say, that it's been roasted to perfection. It's just catching all the right notes on it. And then we go contrast and pick up the, the, the Monsoon Malabar. And... Wow, this is some serious gutsy coffee. This is the kind of coffee that if you've had a, a very heavy weekend, I think this one would, um, would I, I don't know, put, run electric shocks through your system. It's just a real gutsy coffee, but very, very smooth, but lovely, just delicate. Um, I said not delicate, that's, sorry, <clears throat> not the right word. It's quite a heavy coffee, but very, very smooth. And, you know, it's it's just terrific, but complete contrast, total contrast to, to the Myanmar and the honey processed. Uh, and just amazing how you can have such, you know, coffees grown from the original uh, Arabica coffee bean and all the rest of it, and yet come, end up with such different results. Extraordinary. Definitely. I'm really happy that we sent these two coffees as well, because we can send washed coffees, but I'm hoping these ones will sort of perk the interest. It's blind tasting, so they have no idea what they're tasting. So hopefully they'll be able to pick up on um, the age of the monsoon or the sweetness of the Myanmar. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy for those yeah. ones. Yeah, and actually, you know, it's one of these kinds you have a bit of a relief, you know. We've sent these coffees away last week uh, off to, to Wakefields, and uh, now we're just doing a bit of a reprise and a tasting on them. And you kind of go, oh, God, did we send off the right ones? Are they perfectly roasted and all the rest of it? I have to say, um, if they're tasting the coffee that we're tasting, um, I'm extraordinarily proud of uh, what we're sending away. And I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed uh, we get a good result from this. So we'll have to wait and see. And I think the answer will come tomorrow so maybe we'll quietly announce something on our uh, website of course if we haven't won we'll probably stay very quiet about it but uh, <laughs> conversely we're just really interested to hear the feedback because the one great thing about this uh, competition it's it's quite fun um, it's not too too uh, ridiculously you know highfalutin and all the rest of it but it's great to have feedback on what we're doing on from a little island in Jersey and how that is reflected maybe in the wider UK market and actually what's also very exciting about the whole competition is this is a whole bunch of small roasters you know around the, around the country we're talking about here so this huge growth in a small independence producing some really interesting coffees and, and interesting results and doing interesting things I think is fantastic for the future of our industry so I, I you know I applaud Wakefield for um, enabling us to to take part in such a wonderful competition yeah absolutely um, it's fantastic I mean I've really enjoyed the last um, month of tasting this and I suppose this is us wrapping it up for uh, this 
current series, yeah, we're thinking about doing a few more series, not necessarily based on roasting competitions, but um, we'll have some ideas floating around, and I think we can come up with something quite interesting, yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, it's all based around really any questions you have. So if you do have any questions and you want to get in touch with us, um, do do look up our website, www.cooper.co.je. You can always email us at admin at coopercoffee.co.uk, but all of that is on our website. So if you'd like to get in touch, you have a question, please don't hesitate. We'd love to hear your and uh, be able to answer anything you have. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>